It's 10 7 Oklahoma but remember they've got a new quarterback out there. They've got a guy playing center that's normally a tight end number 50 right there Todd. Yeah, Brody Eldridge uh, this is his first year as a starting center he's a veteran guy and Bob Stoops calls him one of his best football players on his team a tenacious blocker but a little new to the center position and now playing with a rookie quarterback here's DeMarco Murray spinning his way inside the 40 they're going to need more of that Oklahoma to keep their young quarterback protected but there's going to be another flag first down. You know, just to follow up a little bit more on the Brody Eldridge situation, he, he's a great blocker. Whether he's played tight end, whether he's played fullback, I mean, that that is what he does. Comes off the football, and he is a tenacious blocker that never stops. Now he, a little he bit of holding there, holding but on that one. <laughs> but the problem, the problem is your center is responsible for making sure guys are square on your protection calls. And obviously they have had some problems with protection and confusion tonight as a result. Here's Broyles trying to weave his way but got only back to the 41 yard line as we go to Reese Davis Reese. Brad just want to give you a feel of what's going on in the family of networks on ESPNU Auburn just got a 93 yard touchdown pass from Chris Todd to Terrell Zachary they're up by 10 on Louisiana Tech ESPN 2 NASCAR nationwide series Kevin Harvick has the lead and just what you'd expect from Alabama and Virginia Tech a slugfest Crimson Tide up 9 7 on ABC. All right Reese it's. 10 7 Oklahoma with eight and a half to go here in the third quarter Landry Jones comes up has a word with his offensive line and drops into an empty backfield. Jones looking left all the way and throws it complete that way. Dewan Miller and a pickup of eight as we check in with Heather Cox. Well for Sam Bradford a bad night just keeps getting worse now contending with a bloody nose as well but some insight into Sam Bradford's mindset this year when he decided to return to Oklahoma he was to Oklahoma he was asked if he feared injury playing with an inexperienced O line he said he expects to take hits this year he grew up watching Brett Favre and said I want to show people including the NFL scouts that I can take shots get up and keep going obviously not happening the way he wanted it to tonight but guys as a FYI also he did take out an insurance policy when he decided to return to college. 